Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signal. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Business Today for Thursday, February 5, 2015. I'm Marlon Madden. Sandals Barbados will be pulling out all the stops to lower more airlift to the island. This assurance from Gordon Butch Stewart, chairman of Sandals Resorts International. Speaking to journalists following a tour of the Dover Christchurch property last evening, the hotel magnate said while Barbados already has a good name in the UK, his company will ensure that the island benefits from the hotel's own marketing efforts as well. We have strength in, in the UK, but our, our primary strength is North America. Uh, the bookings that, that have been coming in have been probably 60-40, 60 North America, 40% Europe, which um, if, we, if we can help Barbados, we probably be able to help Barbados more in the North American market than the UK market, that you already have. And we're, we're going to do everything, we're going to try. We have had an enormous amount of sales blitzes, um, unveilings in the last year. Barbados has been um, the head of the pile in terms of whatever the exposure to give. Officials of the Competency-Based Training Fund, CBTF, want to see more training providers in the public sector on board with the program. Monitoring and Evaluation Officer with the CBTF, Lisa Fenty, tells Business Today she also wants to see more people taking advantage of training in areas such as agriculture and manufacturing. The CBTF announced the call for proposals for the third cycle of funding this week. The deadline for proposals is March 31st. Although we know that customer service and management skills are very important, we would like to also impress on people the importance of getting the harder skills, especially through competency-based education. Um, what we've seen a lot of so far is partner, um, private training providers coming into us. We have had actually a ma the majority of our proposals that came in, more than 80% of our proposals were submitted by private training providers who partnered with the firms. Um, we are also looking for more public training providers to come in because this also gives them the opportunity to upgrade their curriculum because there is a lack, while well, there's a need in some cases for the curriculum to become state of the art, to mirror what has been going on in the current economic state. Fenty says the number of applications to the CBTF has been staggering, but she's still expecting more entrepreneurs to take advantage of the training opportunities, whether through their sector representatives or on their own. One of the things that we could see, or we're hoping to see, we're going to be doing an evaluation on an ongoing basis. The IDB will actually be doing an impact evaluation over time to, to trace some of the unemployed persons and to get a picture of what has happened to them th after getting skills through the fund and what has been the outcome and if this actually improved their quality of life. But in speaking to trainees one-on-one, -on -one, I know that a lot of them said that it has actually empowered them a lot more to go through this training and to have a certificate because you might have had the skills before, but you don't have any certificate to take to your next place of work or to take to your actual place of work and say, okay, yes, I am certified. Yes, I am competent in doing this. So it actually affords that. Now for today's financial tip. When traveling, protect your credit and debit cards as if they are cash. Do not leave them unattended in a car, restaurant, or even at the pool. When you are traveling, your card should be with you at all times, or you can put them in a secure location such as a hotel safe. That's been the business today. Join us again next Tuesday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper, and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden. Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. 
Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Sydney. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.